going on everybody? Thank you for pressing play. My name is Mike Massey, also known as Mindful Mike. First of all, thank you to you, the staff, for all the work that you're doing with all of this craziness. I appreciate everything that you're doing. Even though I don't know all of you, I truly appreciate the work that you're doing. My intent for this short introduction of Be Kind to Your Mind, this program and practice of how we can use mindfulness in real life. So the program is fairly simple. There's three lessons. The first lesson is a general overview of how we use mindfulness, particularly the breath, to train our mind to come back to the present moment, but also kind of debunking what mindfulness is versus what it isn't. The second lesson is really to look at what is mindfulness in working with our thoughts in a healthier way. You know, what are past thoughts, what are future thoughts, and how can we respond to our thoughts in a healthier way with our students. And then the last lesson is to look at mindfulness and emotions and how can we train our brain and our body to respond to our emotions and work with those difficult emotions in a healthier way. So the program is laid out with three lessons. Each lesson has one or two exercises for the students to partake in. What I typically recommend is that you do one lesson each day or every other day with the exercises to follow. I'm gonna walk you through right now a short little introduction on how to navigate the program on my website. One, welcome everybody to my site, mindfulmike.ca. I know many of you are familiar with it, but let me just help you navigate it for the purpose of using this program of Be Kind to Your Mind. So at any time, you can go to the site, you simply look for schools, and then you go down to your school. Let's look at the K-3 here. A password will come up, and we are just going to use LF for Little Falls. I know, very clever. And then this is the video you're watching now. So then we have part one. So like I said before, there's three parts. Each part has a lesson and one to three exercises depending on the group and the age. So here you see part one followed by lesson one, mindfulness and breathing. You then navigate down and press play. I will come up and talk for a couple of minutes about what mindfulness is and how you can use mindfulness. And then after we are done the lesson, I suggest that you do at least one of the exercises that day. So for example, uh, this exercise is four in, four out. It's under three minutes long. Again, you would press play and it's fairly easy to navigate. Uh, again, there's uh, three exercises for this uh, actual unit or part. So there's exercise two, which is roller coaster breathing. Once again, the play is in the center. And then we move forward to exercise three, rocket ship breathing. Now, once again, I recommend that you do lesson one and at least one exercise on day one. And if your students are enjoying it or you feel like you can do multiple exercises, have at it and do as many as you see fit. Uh, and then we move on to part two, as you can see here, and our lesson is mindfulness and thoughts. So again, I would recommend that you do this lesson at least on a different day. And then you go down and we would do at least one of the exercises to follow the lesson. So we have spotlight scan here. We have the calm jar. And then you can see we have the sound bowl meditation. Now again, if you're doing for the senior students, there'll be a little different program. But again, it's all following under one lesson and several exercises. And then part three, the final part, we go into mindfulness and emotions. And again, we follow by some exercises. There's a dragon breath, stress ball breathing, and then my book, Andy Gets Angry. So we go to the very, very top. If you have any questions ever, you go to contact Mike. I'll be happy to uh, answer any questions you have about the program or if you're having any obstacles with students. Thank you so much for what you do. Welcome back. As you can see, it's fairly easy to use. Most importantly, if you ever have a question about a practice or what is next for some of your students, maybe that one group of students is really taken to the breathing exercises or the thoughts, and you're like, hey Mike, how can we deepen this or what's next? Never hesitate to message me directly at my website at mindfulmike.ca, just hit contact Mike, or you can message me directly at Instagram, which is mindfulmassey, M-A-S-S-E. Again, thank you so much for the work that you're doing. If you ever have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.